hey guys, welcome back. Since we've been doing these online videos, I've mentioned and challenged you to pray several times. But I got thinking, maybe we should take this one and discuss prayer. What it is and how to, how to do it. So here we go. The scripture I've chosen today comes from Matthew chapter 6, verses 5 through 13. And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. And when you pray, do not keep on babbling like pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. This, then, is how you should pray. Our Father who in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our debts, as we have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. In, in what we just read, Jesus talks about people praying loudly on the streets to draw attention to themselves, to, to make them look more spiritual. But is that what Jesus wants us to do? No. He tells us to go into a room and close the door. Now, does he literally mean go into a room and close the door? Maybe. But the point he's trying to make is don't make a big scene out of it. You see, prayer isn't meant to be a, a big show performed in front of people. Prayer is meant to be a conversation between us and God. We need to keep it sincere and natural. Now, what do I mean by natural? When you talk to your friends, do you use big words and complete sentences and proper grammar? Well, some of you may, but for most of us, we don't. But when we talk to them, we use this normal language. And this normal talk is the way God wants us to talk to him. We don't need to be loud. We don't need to use big words. We just need to talk to him like he was like we were talking to our friends who was sitting right beside us. You see, God listens to what's in our heart, not what comes out of our mouths. Thus, we must be sincere and just tell him what it is that's on our heart. In our text, Jesus tells us to pray in a certain way. And he says, that, uh, says what we, we know is the, the Lord's Prayer. It's, it's just a model prayer of how we should pray. He never meant for it to be something we say religiously, just repeating the words. But it's a model. And when we look at it, we see what things to pray for. Our daily needs, forgiving others, and asking for forgiveness, and deliverance from temptation. There are countless things and people we can pray for, but these are the essentials. Prayer should be a natural part of our lifestyle. We need to develop a prayer life that is moment by mo a moment-by-moment -moment relationship with God, not just when we need something or when we're in trouble. Remember, your conversation with God can be anywhere and any time. When we are happy or sad, angry or lonely, no matter how we feel, we should talk about it with God. So your challenge. Now, some of you don't get one this week because you already do what I'm about to ask you to do. But my challenge this week is to talk to God at least two times a day until we meet again. Now, hopefully you won't stop next week. But that, I hope you keep going and, and make this two times a, a day turn into a constant conversation as you grow in your walk with Christ. So till next time, remember, God made you, God loves you, and God wants to be your friend. See you guys later.